Hello guys, I'm Furlan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make channel art for free for your YouTube uh, without using any expensive photo editing softwares like Photoshop or something else of the sort. Um, so we're going to be using a website called the Panzoid Background Maker 3, of which I will put the link in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, and basically, uh, this is a very, very user-friendly uh, background making uh, website that I know a lot of people that have used this and it does look very professional it doesn't look like they've used a program at all to make this and it looks very nice uh, so you can start from scratch so you can make your own uh, you can make your own channel art uh, I mean it's not like you're not but you know what I mean uh, you can load a save template so if you downloaded one from a different website, you can load it onto here and just edit the text. Uh, and you can also save the custom template which you're using right now. Uh, so it has a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. They are updating this with more, uh, but they're not doing it very fast. So by the time you're watching this video, they probably won't have any new ones. Unless it is, you know, a couple months in the future uh, by the time you're watching this. Um, so for the sake of this video, we're going to use, I don't know, this one. So this one looks kind of nice. It looks kind of like ones that other people have used that I've seen. Uh, so I'm going to use this one. Uh, so let's start with the next tab by going to the basics. Um, so you can select the type of background you want this to be. So YouTube one is the channel art that we're going to be making. Uh, you can have a YouTube channel avatar, a YouTube thumbnail, a Twitter background, a Facebook cover photo, a 1080p video frame, or a 720p video frame. Uh, but for now, we're going to do the YouTube one uh, selection. Uh, next, we're going to want to move on to layer one. By the way, uh, the background color doesn't do anything for this uh, background because it is an overlay of the previous black background that it had at the beginning. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, the only one that it does affect that I've seen so far is Pretty much this one and uh, this one here. Um, there's probably more, but I haven't tested all, all of them. So next we're going to want to move on to layer one. Uh, and we can check the, or we can select the uh, color gradient that we want going from the center to the outside. Uh, so this one is going to be color one. So we can change this to be, I don't know, a green, a nice green. Uh, so this is going to be a lighter color because it starts from the center and usually light comes from the center So we can choose that uh, And then for the second color we want to choose a darker shade of green um, Because it gets darker as it goes out from the edges uh, So that looks about nice uh, We can select a different color. I mean this looks nice, but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna choose something else. Let's do hmm, Like a dark purple or a light purple, sorry, because it starts from the inside, goes outwards. And then we're going to choose a darker shade of purple. Oops. Darker shade of purple. Here we go. And that looks about right. Um, we can also set the position of the gradient. So if we want to set a different spot for the area to get lighter and darker, so for example, if we press this little button here and then go over here and click, we can have the, uh, the, I don't know what that is really called, but you can have this go from here and then outwards. Uh, but for now, we're going to have it start from the center. And I know that's probably off center a little bit. So I'm gonna, that looks about right. Um, you can also set the X and Y coordinates if you want it. Uh, set to a fine point on the photo. Uh, you can also set the radiation. So if you want more uh, of these little things, you can have that. But for now, let's do like 22. Uh, we can set the layer opacity. So if we want it to be darker or lighter, we can do that. Uh, and for that seems to be about it for layer one. So let's move on to layer two. Uh, for layer two, it's just extra stuff that you can put on. So you can upload an image if you want other things to be on your channel art. 
Uh, by the way, uh, this right here, uh, the green box, is going to be the uh, area that it's going to be showing on mobile. Uh, the purple box, or the pink box, is going to be the area that it's going to be showing on uh, the YouTube webpage on the computer. And the red box here is for things like a TV, uh, if you're looking up a channel on a TV, like an Apple TV or stuff like that. Um, you can do a different texture and pattern, or you can generate an image. Uh, you can generate a template that you can put over this one and make it a little bit less opaque. Or you can make it more opaque. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I don't know if it's more opaque or less opaque. But it makes it more transparent, so you can see the one behind it. But that just looks silly, in my opinion. Uh, so let's move on. So for the overlays, uh, channel shadow, shadow, I'm not sure what this does exactly. Because where do we... I think it's for the text, I'm assuming. But I honestly can't tell. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is for. Hmm. Well, okay then. It might be for a different setting that I haven't chosen, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's move on. So let's go to text plus images. Uh, so this is for the text. Uh, it has a thing here called Sprite 1. So if we click on that, it shows the text already selected. So for my channel, I would put info alien. I'm not sure if capitalization matters, uh, but it will change soon. Uh, let's use a different font. Uh, I kind of like this one. There we go. If you choose a different font, it changes. Uh, so, that one looks kind of nice. Uh, I mean, they have a ton of fucking fonts. Jesus Christ. But yeah, let's stick with this one for now. Uh, we can select the gradient color. So again, uh, the primary color will go from top, and then the secondary color will go on the bottom. Uh, so let's do... I mean... I wouldn't do this in reality, but uh, just for the sake of the video, we can do something like that. That looks absurd, but I'm just showing an example. Uh, you can set the gradient angle so you can have it, you know, this is 90 degrees, so it's straight, it's uh, horizontal, but you can set it so it's like, like that. So one side is one color and one side is the other. And no, my mouse is starting to glitch out. Uh, but let's set it to 90. You can also set the position of the text, which doesn't, which I don't want to change. So set it back to there. That's not right. A little bit, a little bit right there. It seems about right. And we'll keep it like that before I fuck it up again. Uh, you can also set the rotation. Uh, this would be good for like a, uh, channel avatar, uh, if you want it, like, taking up less space, or you want it bigger on the, uh, channel art, then you can do that. Uh, you can also set the font size, and the text border. Uh, so the text border seems to be a light gray, you can see if you look closely. Uh, you can also set a gradient for it, but you can set a gradient for it by clicking another, in another section on the box here. But, no, that's I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, we'll put the color as black. Black's nice. That looks cool. Kind of. You can also set the gradient angle if you chose one. And you can also set the thickness, but thickness doesn't need to be a lot. Uh, you can also set the text shadow. So you can have a little bit of a shadow there. Um, you can set the color of the shadow. You can also set how much it's blurry. So if we want this a lot, it does that. There. And you can do an offset if you want. And that is about it for the options that you can choose on here. Uh, so then, once you're done, you can choose the download your background option. And it'll render, and then you click the download button again. And it will start your download down here if you're using Chrome. And then you can just drag it out onto your desktop. And then we're going to go to your YouTube page. I don't want to click the stop recording button. That would suck. 
uh, and we'll go to my channel and we'll click we'll, we'll hover over the channel art where the channel art would be and click this little button here we'll click edit channel art and then you can upload a photo but we're not going to do that in fear that I might actually change it with what other monstrosity that is and yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.